Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we are going to ta talk about fashion, right? And in particular, the fashions of metahuman. And as you see, I mean, metahumans, you gotta love them, but they're not, you know, very fashionable, right? They don't have enough variation of clothing. I bet that in the future, we are going to have much more, you know, we're going to have tons of, you know, uh, pants and, and, and clothing and accessories and all that kind of stuff. But for now, you know, this is very limited. But what if I can tell you that they have now for free a lot more clothes, all right? So let me show you what I mean by that. So now I am in my Lyra project where I installed, you know, my CD sample crowd, right? And this is a uh, preset metahuman. This guy is Christopher, all right? And now I want to test something with you. So this is, you know, the uh, crowd character blueprint. And this is Christopher, all right? So let's try something. I'm going to the body of Christopher and I'm going to open up his skeletal mesh for the body and I'm going to his skeleton, all right? And I do have these prepared here for a reason. Now I'm going to do the same for the crowd character. I'm going to select the skeletal mesh. It's not called a body, but it is, you know, this first one right here. And you simply open it up and I'm opening it up just because I want to check where this skeleton is. And now I'm going to hit browse and now it's going to be selected down here. All right, here it is. This SK base is the name of the base skeleton of the crowd character, all right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going back to the Christopher, or in this case, you know, the, the base metahuman skeleton, and I'm going to assign that SK base to my metahuman, all right? I'm going to save, I'm going to save all, and I'm going to close, all right, for now. So this is why I did this, all right? So now I'm going back to my uh, Christopher character. I'm going to hit uh, Control E to edit his uh, blueprint again, and I'm going to the body. I mean, I'm going to the torso, all right? And let's see what gives. So now we know that he comes with only this shirt, all right? And this shirt is, if you search on your metahuman uh, folder, it's going to be in common male. And then you're going to have like tops and bottoms like jeans. And this is, you know, the only cloth that me, this metahuman uh, 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 was imported, right? But now, what if I come here and I start checking for other options like for example this button down and all right the first time you change it it's going to have a, a little bit of issue with the material but that is because it still has the original material from his shirt all you need to do is to revert it all right and now it's going to have the proper um shirt and color or maybe i could use a blazer or maybe i could use uh, tie or um, another type of blazer. There are, you know, a couple of different options now with um, um, with the uh, uh, character crowd, all right? So that means you now have more clothing for your preset or your own metahumans. And let's try to do the same for, I mean, the legs. Let me see another option of trousers or pants. So we have these jeans and they are very similar to the one that we uh, uh, imported with. But now I can remember to reset the material for the first time. Uh, so I have a, a jean with a belt and maybe these are longer and black. And we have loafers oh these are sorry let me revert that and i could use i could do the same thing with the shoes so if i go fits 
and I come here and I go maybe, I don't know, there should be a couple of shoes in the bottom section, like for example, these loafers and remember change, you know, revert the material. And as you see, I have more clothes for my metahuman, all right? And even more, all right, let me show you this. So um, this is something that will not sadly come when you share your skeleton, all right? You're going to be able to share all the pieces and animations. All right, let me show you about the, those animations, right? So I'm going MetaHuman Christopher, and I do have a sequencer with him on, all right? And I'm going back to content, uh, city sample crowd, and I'm going to search for animation sequence, and I'm going to search for idle. And there's going to be a couple of idle animations. I don't know which one is going to be good because there are no... Um, um, I'm going to test maybe this one right here. No, this is just a pose. Maybe this one or oh, this one seems to be good. There it is. Now we have him standing there, you know, working his thing around. All right checking you know the time and talking about time let's talk about uh accessories all right there are a couple of accessories in the simple um there are a couple of accessories in the cd sample crowd and if you want to use them on your metahuman it is not going to be so easy all right to use them you're going to have to uh, recreate or copy and paste in this case the um, sockets so I'm going to open the body I'm going back to where I was you know with the skeleton and I'm going to do the same thing I need to look for the skeleton here so I bet that if I come here uh, is the SK SK they're all SK really Is the SK base, all right? I, I could go right from here. There it is. Is this one right here? I'm going to double click and open it. And you're going to see that if I go to the skeleton tree of the SK base that is from the city crowd, if I go down a little bit, um, let me go very fast. So I know that that thing is on the spine five. So it should be around uh, pelvis socket. Where are you? Here it is. Accessory backpack, right? All you need to do is from the crowd. Um, and this one is nested inside the spine five. Let me show you. It is nested, you know, below spine five, all right? All you're going to have to do is to select it. Control C to copy, go to your metahuman skeleton, go to your spine five and control V. And now you should have down here somewhere. There it is. You have the accessory backpack paste on your spine five, right? So now let's check. I'm going to save my metahuman base skeleton. And now I'm going to minimize this and I'm going to the sample crowd and I'm going to search for uh, static mesh, all right? And there should be this backpack right here. So all I need to do is to add it to my sequencer and I'm going to track, attach to Christopher and in the body, there should be an accessory backpack and that's it. Now we have a backpack for our metahuman. Let me extend the track of the attachment and that's it. Now we have a metahuman with a backpack. New shoes, new trousers, new sweater. Uh, we're going to have a couple of, I don't know if this happened, you know, on the original ones, but there it is. So there is one more thing that we can talk about this and that is sizes. So let me go back to content metahumans and I do have another metahuman here. This is a um, 
a custom metahuman that I call Haley. And if we now select her and we face her, you're going to see that she is pretty small. You know, this is as small as a metahuman can, can be uh, created because it's the female version of the small metahuman. So she's very small, you know, in comparison to uh, our Christopher character that is a medium um, metahuman. All right. So what would happen if I do the same with Haley? Let's check it. All right. So now this is Haley and I'm going to body. Um, I know, I, I mean, I'm going to legs and I'm going to change these shorts for pants. All right. So if I go uh, F of female, uh, um, overweight, no, it's F female tall. All right. That is good. Underscore um, overweight. All right. Is O B W. All right. That's good. And now I need a couple of jeans. And this is what is going to happen. So I'm going to revert the first material. So this might happen. All right. So it doesn't matter the how the height of your metahuman is going to be important, the phenotype, all right? If it is the underweight or the overweight, it's not going to fit. But if we change these pants for the F underscore tall underscore normal, and you search for uh, skirt, this is going to work. Uh, you know, forget about the interpenetration. That is, you know, that might be because this is uh, metahuman um, uh, top, all right? But, you know, it's going to fit wonderfully and it's going to be perfect, all right? So maybe let's change also the top so we don't have that interpenetration. So it's not going to be the hoodie. It's going to be maybe, um, yeah, a shirt or a blazer. And we change the color and that's it. Now we have our small metahuman Haley working out those jello sneakers with skirt and a blazer isn't that fashion if it's if, if this is not fashion i don't know what it is all right so this is it um so maybe i could add one last thing if you allow me i know that this is a long a long video but i think that you're going to appreciate this one so we have, you know, all available, all those, you know, animations from the crowd. You're going to have like walking animations and you're going to have like turning animations, idle animations that are very, very good. And there are loops. So you are going to be able to use them for your metahuman, you know, free animations also. Who doesn't want free animations? But there is one more thing that we could do, and that is with the face. So we're going to select this face, right? And I'm going to double click on it and we're going to the skeleton right and this one i'm going to do it pretty fast so i'm going to create a new compatible skeleton and i know that it is this one right here the here the face archetype skeleton this one is the face from the city sample crowd right and i'm going to set it as a compatible skeleton and just by doing that, I will be able to go to my content characters. I mean, content city crowd sample, select for animation sequences. And I have like crowd happy. So let me check that out. I'm going to drop this thing here. And there it is. I have my happy character, Christopher, with an idle animation standing there with his new backpack. Who's not going to be this happy with a new back backpack? And, you know, if you want the clock or if you want the coffee cup or if you want anything from accessories from this city sample crowd, you just know that you got to copy and paste those um, sockets, all right? So that is for today. I hope you like this video. I want to thank you so much, everybody, for your visits, your questions and your likes. And remember to subscribe and you know the drill. Be good.
See you soon. Be good. <laughs> all right, you know the drill. Be good. Love you all. See you soon. Bye-bye.